But I'm really a great person, David. Are we really filled with all of that integrity and wonderfulness that sometimes we think we are? I am David Essel. This is going to be a tough one for a lot of people to watch. When we look at the conscious mind, the conscious mind says that we're a great person, an honest person, we would never betray someone, we'd never cheat, steal, lie, etc., etc. That's what the conscious mind wants us to think. But this segment is difficult because the only thing that really matters is what we do in the outside world. And I'm going to give you an example. I worked with a woman today, and I've worked with her for quite a while now. And when she came in about six months ago, she was complaining that all the guys that she dated were dogs. They were just, all they wanted was sex, and they didn't live up to their word, and they didn't treat her correctly. And so we did a whole bunch of work. At the end of all this work, we came to the conclusion that she was a huge part of the problem, which shocked her. She couldn't believe it. It wasn't just the guys that she was attracting, that she actually wasn't following her word either. So today she came in, and she was really frustrated. She had met a guy a couple weeks ago. And things were going really hot and heavy. I remember last week she came in and, oh my gosh, she was on fire. It was almost like she just had an orgasm. And the guy doesn't even live in the same town. And she was saying, oh my Lord, I just got off the phone with him and he puts me on fire. He lights my fire. It's incredible. So today when I started talking to her, she was just filled with disdain. You know, this guy's the biggest jerk. And I said, holy cow, what has he done in the last week to make you feel that differently? And she went on to say about, you know, how he wasn't following his word and he wasn't doing this and he wasn't doing that. So I said, okay, well, now that you've shared about his side, what's your side of the story? Why is it that he was getting, you know, he, I guess one of the things she said is, is that he said that he doesn't have an anger problem and he doesn't get upset. But she says every time that she talks to him in the last couple of days, he's been upset. So when we boiled it all the way down and I said, well, you know, have you been honest and have you been truthful? Oh, yes, 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 yes. But when we got to the core of it, this is what's going on. She had promised him that she'd go on a trip, and so he had double-checked with her and said, look it, I don't want to buy tickets because they're non-refundable if you're going to cancel out, and you seem to be kind of flaky at times, which she didn't like, but she said, no, I never flaky, I always follow my word. So he bought the tickets, and just yesterday, she flaked out. She told him she didn't think she could go, which means he freaked out because he had already cleared with her that if he was going to get the tickets that she couldn't back out and there she goes and backs out. So big strike number one. When I talked to her about it and I said, do you see how this is you not following your word? You're breaking integrity. You're complaining about his integrity, but you're doing it. She said she couldn't believe it. And so then I said, well, what else are you guys fighting about? She goes, well, that he says I shut down in communication. I said, well, is it true? She said, no, 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 I'm a really good communicator. So we go back in time the last four or five days, and sure enough, when she gets nervous in a relationship, when she feels she's going too fast, too far, she shuts down. She runs away. So at the end of our session, here she had written in front of her 12 things that she had done in the last four days that had broken her own integrity. So I said to her, I go, remember when we opened up this conversation today and you said you were having all this stress with this new boyfriend? I go, could it be your integrity? And you said, absolutely not. I'm a woman filled with integrity. Yet at the end of this session, look at all these ways you had broken your word, broken your integrity, promised things, and then backed off on your promises. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is a difficult thing for us all to face. It was hard for her to face. She's got a lot of work to do. And most of us do too. We say we're a really great person. We say we're really kind. We say we're really loving. We say we always follow our words. But if we're having chaos and drama in relationships, the odds are we're not. I'm going to end this right here. Look in the mirror. If you have chaos and drama with a friendship, with a love relationship, with family members, look at your role. Are you backing down on your word? Are you breaking your word? Are you breaking your promises? And then telling people it's them. If we can stop this, look in the mirror, accept responsibility, ask for forgiveness. It doesn't matter if the relationship continues or not. Ask for forgiveness and move on. Don't repeat the past. Don't forget all the stuff we offer for free to help you move through life. Like the Power of Focus, our book at our website, talkdavid.com, absolutely free. Our free video series on the four blocks to financial freedom at talkdavid.com, absolutely free. People always ask me, how do you have so much energy? There's all kinds of information on how you can get more energy at talkdavid.com. And for the past 30 years, we've helped millions of people break through to the next level with love, money, their bodies, attitude, everything. Check us out. I'd love to work with you one-on-one at talkdavid.com. And all of my coaching work is 100% money-back guaranteed. Have a beautiful day.